So now that Black Ops Cold War is officially a thing, I think it's about time we can start talking about the zombies mode. And oh my gosh, I've been wanting to talk about zombies for a while now. I mean, our last experience with the zombies was Tog. And, uh, you know, from there we had, you know, Modern Warfare didn't have any zombies. So it's been kind of a pain. I ain't going to lie. So it's so nice to start talking about future zombies. And today, I decided the most important thing to talk about in zombies is none other than the five things that Treyarch has to do to make sure Black Ops Cold War does not suck. That's what we need to talk about because we do have to remember the most recent Treyarch game that they made was Black Ops 4 Zombies and you know, eh, 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 had a lot of problems. To be honest, that thing was kind of whack, for being honest. Now, this time I'm going to try to make sure this video is so much shorter because I was so excited to talk about zombies again that my last recording of this I talked for 20 minutes for five reasons so I'm going to try to hurry through this a lot faster than before but either way we're going to be going for all top five of these of course I think we're going to do it in order of importance that I see in my eyes like the most important thing to the least important thing and stuff like that but either way with all that let's get into number one and the most important thing to make sure black ops cold war does not suck in terms of zombies and that is make sure the game works the game you yeah, know it'd be nice if it worked on launch because we did have experience with this in the past like normally i wouldn't really mention make sure the game works because that seems kind of obvious and it's like something we just kind of expect sometimes out of video games but uh yep yeah, that black ops 4 completely changed that the game was broke yep couldn't, start get, couldn't really play past, past round 22. A lot of Easter eggs couldn't even be completed. Side Easter eggs weren't even in the game because they were so broken on launch. I'm talking about the Golden Spork Knife. That was whack. Uh, please make sure the game works. That would be kind of hype. And honestly, I'm not even asking for like, like the game to work like perfectly. I'm just asking for the game to work in the same levels that Black Ops 4 or Black Ops 2 worked. Like those games were kind of broken on launch too, let's be honest. But they weren't Black Ops 4. Like, just don't be Black Ops 4 level of broken. And we're good. We're good. And I think everybody will be happy with that. Everybody shall be happy. Number two is make sure casual games are fun. Just if you're going to be playing casually, make sure the game is fun. Because that is something that is incredibly huge for multiple reasons. Because number one, most Call of Duty players that play zombies are casual players. Most people aren't completing Easter eggs. Most people aren't going for high rounds. They're just getting to round 20 some and the game ends. That's pretty much how most people play. So you have to make sure that is fun. And probably two most important things is making sure the pack bunch quest isn't garbage like Dead of the Night. But also something that's overlooked so often is just make sure the guns are good. Like I'm not asking for every gun out of the box to be good like Black Ops 3. But at least most or half of them, because in Black Ops 4, holy crap, they were bad. Oh my gosh, the guns in Black Ops 4 were garbage. They were so bad. And I didn't really realize how bad the guns are, because most of the time I'd be playing, I'd be playing with the Wonder Weapon, and it was kind of fine or playing with the Hellion, which is pretty much a Wonder Weapon. But I didn't realize how bad they were until I started playing Rush, when if that Turbo series that you guys may have seen. But like... I played that and holy crap, I didn't realize how bad the guns were and my gosh, they were garbage. They were so bad. Like I always had to understand how bad they were, but it really stuck out when I played Rush with Turbo. I just could not believe how bad the guns were compared to zombie games in the past. It just blew my mind. It's like, holy crap. But again, don't want to stick too long on this, but just make sure the casual game is fun, which includes Pack-a-Punch and the strength of weapons in the box. That is huge. This one is more dedicated towards the hardcore players, but this is making sure that Easter eggs are fun. Because that, again, was a huge lacking in Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4's Easter eggs were not fun. They weren't. Blood of the Dead's not fun. Um, um, 9 is not fun. Voyage has spots that are fun, but overall not fun. You think about Dead of the Night, not really fun. Ancient Evil, the only bright spot in everything, the only fun Easter egg. But then again, that map was the only, like, that's the only thing it had going for it was the Easter egg was fun. Everything else is kind of whack. Um, but then from there, you had, uh, of course, Alpha Omega and Hog, which both didn't really have fun Easter eggs. So can we just have fun Easter eggs? 
just make them fun. I like to see something like, you know, the Rise and the Rocket, Garad Krovi to an extent, with a few exceptions to that Easter egg, which I'm saying like Garad Krovi is probably a good example. Like we could have fun Easter eggs, but even if they have one or two bad spots, whatever, we could deal with them. But make sure the overall experience is going to be fun, fun boss fights, fun steps that are cool. Like just make it generally fun, which I feel like was a huge lack in Black Ops 4 that just needs to return in Black Ops 5, uh, Cold War, excuse me. <laughs> And just has to be a huge thing for hardcore players because you just look at how many times people be streaming Black Ops 3 Easter eggs and compare that to Black Ops 4 Easter eggs. That's all I gotta say. But anyways, with that out of the way, we can move on to number four, the perk system. Don't bring back Black Ops 4's perk system, please. Don't do it. It's it's not good. Like I kept my mouth shut for so long of my opinions of that perk system because everybody else was bashing on it. I didn't really want to join in on it, but I'm going to be honest. Poo poo perk system. Worst perk system in the history of zombies. I'd rather play with the World War II perk system, which I can't remember how it works, so I don't know if I'm actually agree with that. But I think it was different. Yeah, they took out Jug 2 and added the shield thing. Maybe not that. Maybe then. I don't know, man. That's a hard one. But either way, not the point. <laughs> the point is, is like. Let's just bring back the old perk system with some minor adjustments. Like, to me, I think the easiest way to fix the old perk system is just to let us buy more perks. Let us buy six perks instead of just four. And I think that would fix all the old perk systems problems and everyone would be happy. But overall, old perk system back with some minor adjustments would be great. Also bringing back the modifier part because that was cool in Black Ops 4. But either way, now we can get into number five, which is another one that's going to be kind of specific. And the thing is with number five, I couldn't decide which one to put here. It's really hard between these two to put for number five because honestly, I kind of just want to make it six, but I'm not going to do it. Instead, I'm just going to mention what was going to be number six if we did have it. And that was the movement system. Like I couldn't decide between what I chose for number five and the movement system because the movement system Black Ops 3 is a godsend. Holy crap, it is just so nice to jump slide around the map and you got rid of that in Black Ops 4 kind of sucks. So I'd like to see that return. But again, that's not number five number five what i decided to pick over that was make sure ether returns going to be honest like let's all just be honest for one second ether's amazing right everyone agrees ether's amazing outside of smart guy he's kind of like not all there when it comes to story he thinks that chaos was better than ether which is just completely whack like it's just whackery right there like there's not a single character that even holds what's saying holds a flame is that is that the thing i don't know holds a flame to like even the worst character in zombies like i'd honestly rather listen to sophia than scarlet maybe that's a stretch i don't know i haven't really thought that through i just kind of said on the spot but either way the point here is that i'm trying to say is that you look at every single time a zombie game came out in, or excuse me a zombie map came out in black ops 4 you lo looked at how much people were watching how many people were interested in different maps and the clear difference was that the, would stand out between the maps and their popularity would be if they were chaos or if they were ether. Like ether is just it. Like it's just it. That's what people like to see when it comes to zombies. And I do think there was an opportunity to end the ether storyline in Black Ops 4, but Treyarch effed it up. And because of that, I just really don't see ether going away anytime soon. In fact, I think as long as there's going to be Treyarch zombies, there's going to be ether zombies from going on forward because I think they really effed up their only opportunity to really end the ether storyline and from now on we're just going to continue seeing it and I think this one's going to be pretty pretty likely because you kind of already see all the 115 teasers and 935 teasers that have been mixed in with all the other teasers so you know it seems very likely that this is going to be the case whether it's going to be a reboot soft reboot or just somehow continue the story directly from where it will left off in one way or another overall I think that that's probably what's going to what's going to happen anyway. So it's just something that I kind of agree with. I think that Ether is just it from now on. They had one opportunity to say goodbye to Ether. They effed it up. And, you know, now we're just going to continue to have Ether for the rest of zombies. But anyways, those are my top five. Hopefully I spend, didn't spend too much time talking about this like last time because it was a 20 minute video. But uh, hopefully it's around at least 10 at the most but uh either way i love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on my uh top five things for how to make black ops the cold war zombies not suck but also i'd love to hear what you guys think about them. what is your top five to make sure this upcoming zombies game does not suck like what are they i'd love to hear them down in the comments but anyways guys 
that's about it for me. If you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead, do all the normal YouTube stuff, a like, subscribe, bell, share, and all that great stuff. But I'm going to go and I'll catch you guys next stream video or whatever the heck it may be. And laters, guys. Dang, it feels good to talk about zombies. Dang!